Hi and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm gonna have a very quick update for Chainlink and before I'm gonna start it, please make sure to read on the disclaimer that I'm gonna post. Thank you. Hi and welcome back. So this is our previous chart for Chainlink where we have our update on this part right here. And following a successful event at Cybos 2023 that Chainlink attended, the decentralized Oracle network keeps making headline with the recent partnership with DTCC, which is an American financial service company that provides clearing and settlement services for the financial markets through its subsidiaries. According to the news, this collaboration with the Depository Trust and Clearing Corporation will make it possible to transfer tokenized version of traditional financial assets for a swift blockchain interoperability project and after our update right here we said that if chain link will retrace find your 0.382 to 0.618 and it supported at the 0.382 from this low and to this resistant as you can see on this part and it bounced back just to retest a 0.618 around this area since before touching the 7.206 resistant on where it is right now, we have the resistant on this top to this low that's gonna be around this 7.028 that also touches this support right here if you can look at it at the 4 hour. Then after being rejected here, it bounced back on our blue line around 6.705. And right now it is on our orange line. So for chain link, I'm just gonna have a common support right here. And I'm expecting it to retrace for today. And before it even touch this white line support, we can find our 0 0.382 from this low to this top. That is also around this resistant right here at $7. On the other hand, furthermore breakout on this 7.206, we could find our 0.618 from this very top right here and to this low, which is gonna be around 7.372. Now if Chainlink will clear this resistance, then we could see it here on the next week, maybe testing this 8.349 white line resistant. Anyway, for the coming weeks, especially on September 29, we're gonna have the core PCE. And before the core PCE on September 28, we're gonna have the jobless claims. So if you are trading, have your own stop loss and be diligent on your own risk management, it's gonna be a volatile week again. And if you like this kind of content, please like, subscribe, comment down below if you have some coins for me to chart. Click the notification bell so you would be updated on new videos that I'm gonna upload. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.